Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It is time to do box number two in this um, round of cards that I picked up in a Facebook marketplace. This box, as you can see, is filled to the brim. Hopefully you saw my first video of box number one. Uh, you know, not a lot of bangers out of it, but a lot of really nice cards, a lot of um, cards to fill sets. Excited to get into this box. So I'm going to start digging into this and uh, we'll see what we can find and we'll be back here in a moment. All right, starting to dig through this box. I would say so far this box is more on the junk wax. So this is all junk wax we've got some 20 a lot of bowman 21 bowman so i'm uh, sorry 21 tops which was uh didn't see any 21 tops really in the first box um i do see a bunch of i did see some basketball in here as well so starting to dig through this and uh just thought i'd give you a quick update on what we're seeing so far so we'll uh keep you posted here if I can, I will try to sift through some of this so you can see what I'm seeing. All right, everybody, just kind of getting a quick update here. I'm about 10% of the way through this box. I would say so far box number two has been heavier on the junk wax than the first box. Uh, I'm working on a nice pile of Bowman. This is all, I think, 2020. I'm seeing some 21 for the first time, and then still a whole bunch of chrome. So this is all 20, 19, 21. We've got some platinum anniversary here. Doogie, I will check your list on those, but a nice stack of that. So, so far, and then we've got some uh, inserts up here. So um, chugging away. We've also got some 20, I think this is 2013. So 2013 tops. So we had some 2013 tops in that first box too so um pretty pretty interesting stuff pretty uh fun sifting through all of this um you know there's gonna be a lot of cards obviously <laughs> a lot of cards uh, definitely you know gonna get my money worth off the 50 dollars. it's not gonna be this isn't like a an investment lot i don't think but this is definitely gonna be something to uh, work on some sets so if you're working on any of these sets uh, definitely hit me up because i will have tons of stuff so uh, that's it for this update and uh, we'll see you here shortly as i get farther into this box all right just checking back still working through box two about I'd say a little more than halfway done uh, as you can see the stack of junk wax is getting large so definitely a lot more junk wax here, but still a lot of um, I mean, a lot of chrome. Uh, when you add this to the first box, it's it's a decent amount. It's more Bowman, tons of 2020. So 2020, 2019, um, both update and whatever. And then uh, this is my stack of inserts from 2019, 20, and 21. Actually found a couple of gold cards numbered. Um, so we'll show you those at the end. But uh, some Allen and Ginter. Some more Gypsy Queen. So uh, good stuff. Good stuff as we work our way through. We're going to keep going here. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Box number two is empty. And here's what it looks like before I go through it all. So... <clears throat> interesting box definitely um heavier on the junk wax this is all heritage uh but i will say this box had more inserts and foils and numbered cards um probably i saw three three or four gold cards perhaps maybe even more so i will go through this um and uh, show you all what I have here, and we'll do a quick summary. But um, interesting, interesting box number two. All right, so I am through two boxes. I know this is going to change 
Um, I'm going to show you some of the highlights of box two. I already showed you some of the highlights of box one. I'm going to do a video at the end doing all of the highlights. But so this is kind of my junk wax over here, which is um, probably going to get tossed. Uh, so all of this stuff was pretty much picked through. Um, any of the stars, I would say most 99% of it was picked through. Occasionally some stuff slipped through and I'll show you some of that stuff. And maybe it didn't even slip through. Maybe they just didn't even want it. But so over there on the right is going to be some heritage from 2020, I believe, or 21. And some uh, Allen and Ginter. I'm making a box here. This is going to be all chrome. This is going to be all paper. That's all Bowman and Topps paper. That I have a whole nother actual row of Topps paper that I couldn't fit in that. Um, I have my highlights from box one over there. And then I'm going to show you just real quick. I'm going to go through uh, some of the highlights here. So real quickly, um, Justin showed you I got you some 2019s in the first box. There was another one in the second box. And Brad, there were two of the... Um, 21 platinum anniversaries on your list so those are going in your piles there were about so there were about 20 ish of these platinum anniversaries in box two so that was pretty cool um and then this was i guess the highlights um there were some other stuff in there but again um i know you guys know i like to collect the parallels and stuff so there was a nestor cortez that snuck through rookie card didn't really, I don't know how good of a year he had. The Retail Blue from Series 1. There was a bunch of numbered cards in this box. So I think there were four of them from, from 21. This is from 2013, I believe. Yep. Um, I, listen, these aren't obviously big dollar cards. But, you know, four numbered cards was, was still nice. A whole bunch of rainbow foils. Um, I'm, you know, I'm going after obviously 2022. I do have a bunch from 2021 and 2020, but I don't think I'll chase those, but I got those. There were some purples. Um, these were, I think the update boxes from 21 and 22. Uh, just when I was going through the, um, heritage, this was the only one that had something written here, action, you know, sometimes I'll say photo or whatever. So I think this was a variation, uh, again, you know. I don't think this is a star, obviously. I've never heard of them, but it was a variation. So I put it aside. Um, the inserts, some chrome inserts. There were a bunch of these yellows, which I think maybe were a, a Walmart version. I'm not sure what these were, but those were in there. If anybody's collecting those, I'm not going to do anything with those, but I put them aside. Let me know. And then these are all inserts from uh, mostly 21. Also, this was an old, I don't know what this is. This was interesting. Uh, I know I had some of these back in the day. Uh, oh, I got to check these, Justin, on your list. Um, I know you don't need those two because I think the first one starts at like 400. Um, but I will check that one. I actually have it up right here. So I'll check. We are live and I will check your list. That is 487 and you don't need that one. Um, so... I, those of you who don't know, I do a lot of trading with some uh, friends of mine, um, Justin from Three Good Nerds, Brad from Doogie's Dugout, and then on Discord, a whole bunch of folks there. So if you're chasing any of these inserts as well, let me know. Um, I'm happy to find more trade partners. So that was in there. Um, these were just weird, interesting stuff. There's some sports flick stuff in here. Um these inserts, I don't, there's again, no dollar value to them, but I thought those were interesting. And then probably the best card in there, at least for me, was this, which was a 2015 Mookie Betts. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool. That'll go probably right to my PCs. I did not have that one. Um, so that was my best find in that box. I don't think it's worth a ton of money. I don't think any of these are really worth a ton of money other than, like I said, I will use most of these to fill my sets, which was why I rolled the dice on this uh, purchase. So um, that's two boxes down, three to go, and uh, I will get cracking on the next box. Thanks you, thank you for stopping by.